Hi, welcome to another video on streamable MCP transport. So we had one video earlier and I have promised that we will have practical experiments with building different types of MCP client and MCP server using streamable transport. So this is one of its kind, maybe the first where we will see how the low level interactions happen between an MCP client or the MCP host and the MCP server using streamable connection. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I'm Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. So please watch this video till the end. It took a lot of effort in getting this working because this is very new. So let's look at the interactions. So we have the client, which is actually the agentic system, which has this client attached as a tool. But for this demo, we will just make bare tool calls. And then we have this remote MCP server and that has a tool attached. So this MCP app has a tool attached. So that is the setup. So later on, we'll see how we can add a custom tool. So the first thing that happens is a post request on the slash MCP endpoint. It can be slash MCP or slash MCP slash to be precise. This has to be a JSON RPC format call. And we can call the tool directly. So we'll see the structure of this JSON uh, payload. So once the MCP server gets this call, it'll invoke the tool. It'll invoke the tool, passing the received parameters. And then comes the SSE interactions loop. So on the same call, that is the same call that may, so same post request will start receiving streamed response back. So that is the secret. Whereas in purely SSE based transport, we had to have two separate channel, one for SSE, that is server sent events streaming from the server to the client and another one to send the requests. So in this case, post request and the streaming response both happen on the same endpoint and that is this endpoint. So this is the streaming loop. So once the streaming ends, finally another result payload goes back and the communication is terminated. So this is just like a normal stateless communication that happens when you browse a website. Okay, and the connection is closed. I have tested this with curl commands, MCP inspector, and also I have added a new tool and Finally, I have also created and tested an agentic demo where I'm able to call the streamable MCP. All these will be recorded in subsequent videos. So this is the heads up first video where we will launch the streamable MCP server and interact with it using the MCP inspector and also from the command line using curl. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so when client makes the request, the UVCon server receives the request and then passes it to MCP's streamable module, which internally handles the requests further. Okay, coming back to our diagram. So we have seen this. So this is the client to MCP server to tool interaction. So the request coming from the client goes through the MCP server, reaches the tool and then tool handles this streaming response. Then it closes the connection here. Now, so first thing is, we need to make a JSON RPC call with this payload and method should be tool slash call and params, this should be the name of the tool that you want to call. Okay, so this is a Python based MCP server. So where we will see this. So we'll go through the code in subsequent videos, but this should be the name of the tool that we are calling. Normally, we will not be calling this directly. The agent will call internally. But for this demo, 
we will be calling this tool directly and we can pass arguments like this we can identify the caller if required and we can pass these parameters if this tool is about adding two numbers this could be number a and number b and response to that this is a this is actually a streaming response so there will be multiple packets coming back through the same channel so here we have notification one of three uh, here we have notification two of three notification three of three so this returns back in a streamed fashion normally in case of http request this whole packet comes back from the server whereas in in case of streaming these chunks come one by one finally we'll get the result payload and then connection is closed okay so so that is it so with this much in mind let's see it in action i'll be using the mcp simple streamable http stateless code from the model context protocol python sdk git repo okay so this is accessible to all of us so here we have the mcp server and here we have the uh, tool added so this tool has got one interval parameter and a count parameter and then it loops here streaming the data okay so if the interval is one it will sleep for one second and it will loop for the count number of times sending out this data back to the client so that is this demo mcp server so in order to run this i have already containerized a docker compose up app is the service that starts this mcp server okay so here application started with streamable http session manager okay so now how do we access there are two ways we will show the access in this one those are easy ways one is using the node inspector tool okay that is npx model npx at the rate model context protocol inspector and this loads the latest inspector which has the streamable http connection if you refresh this is the url where our mcp server is running and we click on it to connect so we have connected it and then if you list tools you will see three notify stream i have deliberately change the name to confirm that it takes so in list tools i have given this name see three notify stream and that is the when we click list tools that is the tool that is appearing okay so we have the tool here so first thing that happened was to send the initialize request but we can actually without this initialize request also it works tools list this is the payload tool slash list if you want to list the tools and this is the returned json where it gives a list of the tools and the description okay so now if you click here and enter some number two for two seconds and say five counts to iterate and click on run tool you will notice that we get five notifications from the mcp server in a streaming fashion separated by two seconds see this and then finally the closing message comes five notifications with two second interval and if you specify the caller run the tool see the notifications send five notification with two seconds interval for caller three okay so so that is one way of testing the streamable http transport based mcp server now let's not for clarity to eliminate the mystery or the magic behind the communication we are going to see how using simple curl command we can call this okay so i have constructed the commands so this is the command line i will set the base url to our mcp server and then here i will make a simple command line curl command 
I will put all caps three. Okay, so you copy this command, execute it here. See five notifications and interval for caller three and then the closing message. Now one thing to note here is the header we must pass accept text even stream also then only we will be able to receive the stream so if I remove this so let me copy this so if I remove accept text even stream and make the call see this not acceptable client must accept both application JSON and text even stream so that is one thing you need to be aware when you make the tool call so content type is needed because that is the payload format okay so in this video I'm stopping here but I've already created the Python based client which can talk to this streamable transport based MCP server which I will record in the next video and then I have also created the Agno agent which could use this MCP tool as its tool. So that is it for this quick video on how the communication or the interaction with a streamable MCP server happens. So thank you for your time. See you in the next video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe because these videos take time in readying. Please stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.